world will remember this day. The Trinity test and the revelation of the first atomic explosion to the world was one of the most important moments in the 20th century. The Trinity test and the development and the race and the fact that it was all attempting to save kind of humanity from fascism. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. What was really interesting was going back and trying to understand what these guys were thinking and the terrible decisions that were placed in front of them. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon, but I know the Nazis can't. We live in the world that we live in because of what happened at Los Alamos. This is the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world. All through humanity, we've been blinded by ambition and pursuit, and then the ramifications are something else. That's happening, isn't it? I think that's why it's so bizarre and amazing that Chris is making this movie now. We're seeing parallels. It's a profoundly overwhelming experience watching it. Oppenheimer's story is just one of the greatest stories that there is. The president needs to know what's next. What's next? When they were doing the Trinity test, they were asked, what are the chances of this going wrong when it blowing up the entire world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. Didn't need a charge. What is that decision to just still go ahead and do it? It's an extraordinary moment in human history. And I wanted to take the audience into that room and be there when that button is pushed Five. and really fully bring the audience to this moment in time. Three, two, one. Oppenheimer in theaters Friday. Read it all.